in time to be brought back to where you would have been hallelujah I want you to believe this because the next five minutes I'm going to pray and prophesy over your life from the depth of my spirit we have been given the grace to bless to speak and to create possibilities this is the assignment of the prophetic and listen don't you sit down and say, Apostle, you don't know the trouble I'm in. I'm owing 10 billion, 100 A's. Even if it's 10 Naira, it's still faith that will bring you out. Apostle, can I rise again as a man of God? I started walking in the prophetic, but I got, I dappled into all kinds of things. And right now, it looks like that grace is not there. We're wrongly mentored and we're just playing games. Provided you answer that name, Righteous something can still happen how about those trusting God for the fruit of the womb how about those trusting God to end all kinds of yokes and curses family curses marital curses financial curses ministerial curses this is why he sent you here this one thing I know about God is that God lifts is that God restores is that God is able to wipe the tears of men That you look at your former self and you cannot even know again that people look at your life and your life becomes a sermon everybody who looks at your life a series can come out of your life and people can say you mean this is what God can do everything I've said is found in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 to the intent that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God I will hold on through the storm I will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of man the lifter of man no matter what i'm going through i will hold on through the storm i will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of man of God you will rise again because you are the righteous businessman you will rise again because you are the righteous I speak to every family here north east south and west you will rise again ah that statement e cupboard that has been used over your life the departure of the glory that men look at your life and it looks like is a warning and a lesson to others this God that you call Olowo Bogoro, the one that can turn the life of men around. When God arises from his throne, he says, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, and all his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, and financial affliction scattered. Let God arise, and every curse and every yoke be scattered. Can I tell you, let men laugh at you while you look to Jesus. Let men laugh at you while you pray. Let men laugh at you while you speak the word. Let men laugh at you while you enjoy the comfort and the blessing of the church. Let men laugh at you while you receive the prophetic. You have received the spiritual combination. Victory is a formula. Something plus something plus something plus something is what equals the manifestation of victory. Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. 
that's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm not wasting your time. I want you to listen very carefully to me. There are many of you here, as beautiful as your clothes may look, as wonderful as your faces may look, it's like there is, you are, you are being torn apart by situations. Maybe someone is watching me from a hospital. You have served God with all your life, but here you are by yourself or with a loved one. And literally that loved one is going or maybe there is a family right now that has been bereaved and as I'm speaking right now people are just crying and saying God where were you you've taken the pain and the sorrow away. you've given me peace and undeniable no need to cry cause you're always with me you're my father my everything oh man me please look at me do not be afraid of your wounds no when you see a patient in the hospital about to go through a surgical procedure no matter how healthy that patient is before that time you lie down as though you are helpless and then once the anesthesia is given sometimes the patient is even sleeping losing consciousness and watch what happens the doctors can be there for hours removing things replacing things all kinds of bypasses happening and at that point if they told you that were a human being you would not even believe it i've had the opportunity to watch a few delicate surgeries where they had to literally take part of a man's skull out and walk on the brain, walk on several things, you know, remove tumors and all of that. And sometimes you see heart bypass surgeries and all kinds of complicated surgeries for hours. And literally you are watching a supposed dead body there. You would think that body would never come back to life. And while the doctors are working, sometimes they themselves become afraid because of what they see. But then eventually, they seal that person up and in a few hours, the person just wakes up and pain and from one moment to the other and after a few months, that same person is running around and you cannot, if you will never believe that person was once there. Can I tell you the truth? You are not the first to fail in ministry. Everybody has had a share of, of failure and pain. You're not the first to fail in family. I know your marriage is about to tear apart. All kinds of things are happening and you are wondering, Lord, but I love you. I've served you all my life. Probably you are someone, you are a student, you are not doing well. You love the Lord. You have options to compromise. I was touched when I heard the testimony of the gentleman who was here. Said he bought all kinds of rams because you are looking for results. And you see the thing sometimes with the body of Christ is that we're experts at multiplying the pain of people. When you find people who are going through seasons and moments of pain, this is a call to the body of Christ. We must learn to be people of love. It does not bring glory to God when we continue to celebrate the pain, the downfall, whatever it is of one another. That's not the way the kingdom works. Once upon a time, the disciples were going with Jesus and they saw some other people doing ministry and they did not understand what they were doing. And the disciples requested for permission from Jesus. Should we call down fire on them? Because you are the only one, it's only your voice that should be heard. You are Jesus. And truly Jesus was the voice. And yet Jesus said, do you not know what spirit you are of? 
In other words, that's not part of your ministry. I'm here to heal. I'm here to mend. I'm here to lift. I'm here to bind. Man of God, don't be ashamed of the fact that you are serving the Lord and it looks like there are financial issues. Don't worry. The God of heaven is bringing wisdom and is helping you. You may become the discussion of many people, but it's good they are aware so that there will be witnesses when you rise. They will say, this one is not fake. I saw it. I saw the man needing millions of dollars for their building. And I, I saw how God raised people mysteriously. I saw how the children, none of them could go to school because of poverty. But I also know through their life what favor is. That one person stepped into the family and rewrote the story. I don't know what you are going through, but the Lord sent me this morning and this, this night to speak to you and to let you know that the word righteous and the word affliction is not strange. The word righteous and the word affliction sometimes can go hand in glove. But it is defeat that should not be. That you never, never settle and say, I am finished. Don't use that word for yourself. Jesus already said it for you. And he never said, I am finished. He said, it is finished. You are not permitted to say, I am finished. You only say it is finished. You may cry, but I want you to know that God is the lifter of men. My life is a testimony. God raised some of us to be an inspiration to a generation that you should not make a mistake to doubt God. Only a fool will say there is no God. If you ever doubt whether God can help men, my life, it is written on my life, Ebenezer. God who can help men. Hallelujah. So as you see the businessman right now, battling with loans, battling with trouble, what you should do as a believer is to invest prayer and to encourage them. You will come out of it. A politician who lost election, maybe somebody who things didn't work out for, don't find joy in adding to the pain of people. It is an antichrist Luciferian spirit. Are we together? Don't worry, man of God. Oh, I hear you were doing ministry, playing games and doing all kinds of things, but I'm happy that you have now repented genuinely. You can start from where you are and the God of heaven can lift you with the dignity of kingdom integrity. I hear you are a business person and you lost the deal. Things have gone bad. I hear you are a lady who, who, who always have to sleep around to raise money, house rent, but now I hear you have made up your mind to work with God. Don't feel bad. God can help you right from where you are. Can I tell you, when anybody laughs at you, just verify if you are still the righteous. Once you find out that you are the righteous, give God praise. Because I can assure you that sooner or later, anybody who laughed at you will have to bury his head in shame forever. Can I pray for you now? I really want to speak over your life tonight and I want you to believe it. You're going to pray one prayer that in the name of Jesus, every discouragement, every mountain that stands before me, I announce to you that I am the righteous and therefore I am coming out of it. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Following online, pray. Azaria family, make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus. Someone is speaking. As a man of God, a businessman, career person, politician, parent, whatever the situation is, it says, let the weak say, so the weak can say. The weak may not be able to do, the weak may not be able to rise, but the weak can say. And the moment you can say, all other things will begin to fall in line. Someone open your mouth and pray. Speak over your health. Speak over the failing business. Speak over the marital issue. Speak over the ministry issue. Speak over the job challenge. Many are the afflictions of the righteous.
Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Someone is praying. Many are the afflictions. Someone pray in the hospital. You are in the hospital, but make sure you are praying. You've lost a loved one, but make sure you are praying. You may be crying listening to me, but make sure you are praying. You may be discouraged, offended with God, but make sure you are praying. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Nigeria, Africa, I know things may not be as we want for now because of all the economic issues there, but many are the afflictions of the righteous. I dare to say Nigeria is a righteous nation. Therefore, the Lord will deliver him from them all. Pray. Sanda praska sabaka tabala katosh krapa katabala katosh sata prende katabala Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says the righteous man falls seven times, but he leaves them with an assurance that he will rise. That the righteous preacher can be afflicted. The righteous mother can be afflicted. The righteous family can be afflicted. The righteous business can be afflicted. The righteous laborer can be afflicted. The righteous prophet, the righteous apostle, the righteous teacher, the righteous pastor, the righteous evangelist. You find out you're a man of God and it looks like there's some sickness in your body. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't join all this hypocrisy and all of that. You pray, get people to pray. You need to go to the hospital, go to the hospital and treat yourself with nobility. It does not make you less anointed. Take responsibility over your life and your health while you are trusting God to strengthen you. A day will come you will overcome that realm of that epileptic condition. You can stand strong, but until then, you owe yourself a responsibility to be serious. Your child is wayward. Don't be ashamed and don't be afraid. Believers can come and stand by you. We can pray and cry together and say, Lord, we will not lose this one to the devil. Hallelujah. Yes. Your business falls up. It looks like things are going wrong. No problem. Go and listen to my message, Principles of Restoration. There I teach on five reasons why people lose things. There are things you may need to learn. There are corrections you may need to make. There are all kinds of things. But by all means, let that word, I am righteous. The righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am righteous. And because I am righteous, the Bible says, even though the afflictions are many, it leaves me with an assurance that the Lord delivered him from them all. It never said from them. It says from them all. You will hear testimonies of people who will come and tell you, I did not believe that God could bring me out of this. There are many of you who will sing and dance with tears coming out of your eyes because you, you, know, you will look at what God is doing in your life and say, God, even me. There's a song we used to sing. Is it too high? Take it down for me. He says, I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me even me. Listen, I'm indoctrinating your mind to believe that if there are two people on earth and they say, who does Jesus love? You should have it at the back of your mind. Be indoctrinated with this revelation. I've told you, if God says he's going to bless 10 people in Koinonia, I will start praying for the remaining nine because I know one position has gone at the instant of that statement. It is the truth. I have convinced myself to believe that he loves me. 
not just some emotional blind thing that does not have a basis. When I had a revelation of what he did for me on the cross, and that even though he's exalted Lord and King, he doesn't want to take a chance, he's still making intercession for me. Was that not what Job did for his sons? Paradventure. That's the responsibility of a father. It may not look like it, but you will rise. It may not look like it, but you will shine. It may not look like it, but in the name of Jesus, I am praying for you. Listen, let me pray for every parent here. In your lifetime, you will see God lift your children. I'm saying it from the depth of my spirit. And while I'm speaking respectfully, some of them are in beer parlors right now. While I'm speaking, some of them are somewhere, maybe internet fraud. While I'm speaking, some of them have vowed all kinds of things. Don't worry if the prodigal son could come back home. I assure you, by the God of heaven who delivers the righteous, I'm praying again for every parent. In your lifetime, you will have a cause to rejoice. Hallelujah. Now, before I speak over your life, I want you to mention the areas. I leave you with God for the next one, two minutes. What areas of affliction have you seen in your life that you truly desire that the Lord will take this out of your life? I want you to open your mouth and pray. I'm releasing my faith with you and I'm about to speak over your life. You will marvel and wonder at the power of this God after tonight's service. Go ahead and pray. He has given us the grace and the unction to speak been commanded to bless and this we must do but I like you to release your faith don't spare don't be quiet don't let the devil lie to you that God cannot bring you deliverance someone is praying is it your marriage is it finances is it your health is it your ministry is it a new level in your life? Is it your work with God, your prayer life, your word study life? Is it your family? Go ahead and pray. It says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your request be made known unto God. In the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you now oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear oh speak from the heavens and I'll hear from the earth oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear my altar is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you. fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my body let the fire from your altar Listen, I've shared with you my story. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, he stretched his hand towards me and light at his brilliance. That light, and it didn't, it didn't shine on me. It entered me. When that light entered me, how I survived and did not die is a question I will ask him when we go to heaven. 
because no man can receive that kind of light and still survive as I began to study on light through the years I would learn that the light of God is the basis of his illumination remember sight is the eyes plus light sight is not because you have eyes if you enter a dark room even if your eyes are correct you would not see because it takes a union of an eye and light to equal sight so light entered me but then I also read from Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4 amplified it says and in that sun like splendor is the hiding place of his power that the power of God hides in his light when you buy a perfume or you buy whatever product they don't give you the product that you bought alone usually it will come in a container am I am I right on that or a carton or some packaging you don't really need the packaging per se the beauty and everything sometimes you can buy perfumes that are so small but then the whole packaging can look like you are carrying a, 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 a maybe an AC or something and you keep opening layer to layer and there you find the small thing it's when you apply it you will know the value of that small thing as small as it is am I right on that so when the Word of God comes contained within it is his wisdom contained within it is his favor but contained within it is his power so what he was doing to me Jesus was not just working on my mind and my spirit it was an infusion of spiritual power that it is from the abundance of that which we receive that we speak over people over cities and nations and literally shift the spiritual climate of men systems and structures no man can do this it's not just about speaking I'm saying this so that as I speak over your life you truly believe with your heart you can stand and spectate and yet nothing happens to you but your heart can be open the Bible says blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord we have not come just by ourselves we were sent and they said, when I sent you, lackest thou anything? He equips when he sends. Are you ready to receive? In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, the one who has raised men and the one who has anointed men. I speak over your life and I speak over your destiny. Every affliction that has brought you tears, that has brought you shame, that has brought you pain, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare that affliction comes to an end now. 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 He said, they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. I've come as a voice of restoration and in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to someone between now and the end of June, I stand by the God who has raised men, the one who has given the grace to appoint unto men in the name of Jesus. Between now and the end of June, return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. I program strange testimonies around your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to everyone in ministry here. I don't know what has brought you down. I don't know what is the area of struggle. But I prophesy to you, rise to the place of prophecy. Rise to the place of destiny. Rise to the place of prophecy. Rise to the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ataka parata kato sate balato sekete prendas kate palakata shekete prasada shalanta prato sekete balada balada bosi. Shekete pakata prando sase pakata la hosiata. Shekete paruto sopran teke palato siata. Let your spirit be open. 
Shanda Sabarato Salikata Branda Gadabaru Shikreti Gedibalataba Shekete Pakatu Skela Panda Shela Shekete Pakata Branda Gadusiata Shekete Pekete Palada Baladabos Sipari Skebarita Shalatus Kabadiata I release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh is here. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh is here. I cry holy, holy. Holy unto Yeshua, Shakina is here. Shalibarakatosa prandega de baradusiata. Shileparuska de barutasia. Don't be tired, it's part of the meeting. Skimende shaletos kabaruta shabragate kotos. Shegeba katosa li branda katosa ketele kata. Shalabarata kata branda kata baruske bereke toshiata. Shile paruta siata. Sibaraka to sali branda kata bariata. Streams of joy. Abia state. Pray your way to a new dimension in the spirit. Haya haya ha. Let me prophesy upon your life. You will never be the same. His grace, your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Hallelujah. We're going to sit down shortly, but the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire resting. I'm seeing the number 34. Inside and outside, I stretch my hands. Please help anyone under the anointing. I stretch my hands. Here at this conference, the grace and the unction of the Spirit. Take that grace now. Please help them. Take that grace now. From the front to the back. Paris Koberekata. Shalepa Katos Kepata. All of the overflows, drink of this fountain. Let it shift you to new dimensions in the spirit. Please help this lady. Sir. Touch this man for me. Look at me. Lift your hands. There is an anointing coming on you. Lift your hands. I stretch my hands upon you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I learned my faith with Pastor Jerry. God is doing something in this place tonight. I assure you that you will never be the same. Never be the same. Informa. Informa. Who is Informa? I'm hearing a name. Informa. The angel of the Lord is telling me she's in this room. If former, is there someone like that? Your name is Ifoma. Where are you coming from, madam? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? You live here. For now, yes, temporarily. No, no, no. Just, just take it easy, my dear. Please. Let's just let's be organized about this. I want to pray for you. My dear, look at me. This lady. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Take 
reject that grace now, you will never be the same. I cast that spirit out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Stand up. Here at this ministry, you will never forget this conference. I look at you and I see oppression around your life. And the Lord is saying, let it go now. I cast that spirit once and for all. Once I cast that spirit out of her destiny. Hear me. If there is anything that followed you here, I stand by the God of heaven, joining faith with your pastor under this apostolic and prophetic grace. I declare that that, that spirit must give way tonight. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray. Enough is enough. I speak and I declare that here upon this mountain, everything that does not represent the counsel of the Christ, here at Streams of Joy, we make decrees by the Spirit that it comes to an end. Don't be tired, you will soon be seated. Am, am I fine? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring the lady that will shout now under the anointing, loud to the hearing of everyone. Please, I want to talk to her. The power of God is coming on a lady now. Bring her. Take in the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry, cause you're always with me. You're my father, my heir. It's your language, sing it. Oh, man, my Shalabarus Kadi Brandi Gedi Baratus Shekete Baruda Siata Balakata. Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah. Say chant of the spirit. Madam, where are you coming from? Just, you are, I'm seeing, what do you have to do with Abuja? Give her a mic. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming Abuja. from? Abuja. Abuja. Yes, sir. The Lord is about to change your life. Amen. I don't know who Amen. you are, but thank God who ordered your steps. Yes. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, fresh grace. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace on the night. Ma, I want to pray for you. That no infirmity will stand your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Is it alright if I talk to you, Ma? I want to pray. That the devil, please don't come out at random. Please. Please. There's no space here. I'll soon send a few people back so that we can teach. Ah, I'm looking at this woman and I'm seeing a serpent. Out of her destiny now. Out now. In the name of Jesus.
release her destiny in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Did the Bible not say, blotting out every handwriting, he says, and every ordinance that spoke against us. Your Bible declares that he nailed it to his cross. Hallelujah. My mind, the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in faith with Pastor Jerry and we speak over your body. The life, the power of Jesus Christ destroys every trace and every planting of darkness over your body. For the Bible declares that every tree that has not been planted by my Father, that that tree will be uprooted. We uproot it right now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are here, for whatever reason, I can't even remember why you are here again. But in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, by the hand of God, you will go back free. You will go back with liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the grace of God speak over your life. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Please return back rejoicing. Hallelujah. You'll be seated shortly. Am I wasting your time? There is a pastor here. You came with such a hunger. I'm seeing an anointing of the Spirit resting upon you now. You are, I'm not saying you are going into ministry. You are in ministry. I don't know if it's this city. The Spirit of God, the hand of God will come upon that man. I just want to talk to him right now. You are a pastor in ministry. And when that anointing comes upon you, it will shift your ministry to a new level in the Spirit. Sir, are you husband and wife? Lift your hands, both of you. Hold your hands and lift it. Lift it. Look at me. I don't know two of you. Are, are, are they, they are pastors in this city? From Port Harcourt, you believe in the power of the anointing? I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus. Take that grace. Two of you step into a new dimension of ministry. Signs, wonders, miracles by the Spirit of God. Taking the pain and the sorrow away. Giving me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry cause you're always with me. Bless our hearts tonight, oh God. Please sit down if you can. Please sit down if you can. In the jurisdiction of that which is allowed. How can I be a better usher? How can I be a better protocol? Okay, I was given the assignment of conducting a service. I didn't do it so well. I go back to God. Lord, I take responsibility. I can grow. You improve yourself. Sooner or later, you'll find out that you're not on the floor again. Champions are people who are determined. They are people who are given to continuous improvement. You go right now to my room and check my laptop. There is a message I'm listening to. And there are things I'm doing concerning myself. Once I'm done with my session, I go back and I will continue working on myself before the evening. That I have come for a program is not an excuse. It is not luck. It is not just Hakanea La Asheria. There is a place for diligence. Are we together? We have to pray. Yeshua Hamashia. Yeshua Hamashia. Come in na kane, come in na na kane, come in na na kane, come in na na kane, Yeshua Hamashiach, come in na na kane, Yeshua. 
Two more times with faith in your heart. For the last time now, with faith in your heart. Oh, me na na Hallelujah. Can we take two prayer points? Will that be fine? Prayer point number one. Lord, in my lifetime, I must become a voice for your majesty. Lift your voice and pray. In my lifetime. Go ahead and pray. Someone is declaring. Make it a commitment and turn it into a prayer. In my lifetime, I must become a voice. In the area you have called me to function. In career, I must become a voice, an influence in ministry, not for the gratification of the flesh, but for your majesty. Someone pray in the name of Jesus. I make a decision and I make a covenant with my destiny. I must become a voice politically I must become a voice in ministry I must become a voice financially I must become a voice as far as kingdom exploits is concerned no excuses in the name of Jesus I obtain grace in jesus name last prayer point the bible says no man intending to build a house and a tower will not first sit down and count the cost whether he has what it takes to finish it hallelujah i have shared with you a few of the demands it is not enough to just claim things you must be willing to responsibly work in partnership with the word of god and the ministry of the holy spirit to subscribe to the demands demand number one is the demand of knowing God having an experience with God like we said yesterday demand number two is the demand of transformation exploring another horizon higher than your cultural context higher than the context of status quo and then number three to be valuable extremely valuable not gifted being gifted does not necessarily translate to being valuable you can be gifted potentially value talks of the refined version of you hallelujah some of you may need to embrace this bible and begin to settle down create a system and a routine for your spiritual growth some of you may need to go to a bookstore around or to order online if you can or get together materials from minds brilliant minds who have paid their price to explore you're a man of God here may I challenge you that it takes more than good preaching to be able to run a ministry successfully learn leadership learn administration learn finances learn diplomacy as a man of God you will be interacting with people from the political space the judicial space you must understand their language and sustain the intelligence to be able to relate with people you must understand psychology people will not come and trust you with their lives and submit to your leadership when they see you as a confused individual even though well-meaning 
it's time to shake off this mediocrity and take away excuses and make up our minds that i will be exceptional by the grace and the spirit of god is someone ready to pray father all that it takes for me to be a voice to my generation i obtain grace to walk in it go ahead and pray go ahead and pray the discipline to pray the discipline to fast the discipline to study scripture until i build my spiritual capacity i obtain grace from god in the name of jesus someone is praying lord the requisite level of exposure that i need to lift me beyond the horizon of culture to lift me beyond the horizon of my local environment to lift me beyond the horizon of status quo i obtain grace i obtain grace i obtain grace finally pray for the grace to refine your value lord i'm tired of being jealous i'm tired of fighting people with bitter envy i'm tired of a life of competition i obtain grace i obtain grace to work on myself to work on my gift to work on my value until i'm able to serve kings with honor in the name of jesus christ may i encourage you therefore to please go and listen to these teachings again and then to charge you like i did yesterday night with the permission of bishop that tonight we trust god to be able to i'll teach some more and then we'll have the opportunity to speak over our lives pray for the sick and then pray particularly over our request i believe in the god that answers prayers and i know that god will do us wonders tonight may the lord bless you and i declare that all the sessions that are coming up will be profitable sessions for us all in the name of jesus we will not be victims of these truths we have heard but they will add and contribute to our excelling in the name of jesus christ of jesus christ it means we are preaching something else can we watch that video that are you ready with it just a song that dance with me song and then we'll pray hallelujah it was it was so much in me i couldn't stop i just kept singing that song because i want many of us to fall in love with the spirit of god tonight i don't know how i can make you do this but i cried to god and i said god help me ready help us holy spirit are we ready I want you tonight to fall in love with the spirit afresh. I really, really want us to encounter the spirit of God in a fresh dimension. A lot will happen in this place. Okay. Hallelujah. Spirit of God, within the next few minutes, find a generation that cry for you. And Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, let our cry be genuine. Spirit of God, we permit your operation in this place. Just find men for the next 15 minutes. Let there be an awakening. Find men and women inside, outside. In the name of Jesus, tonight, I'd like you to drop anything that is not of God. Take God seriously. Even if it is for the first time. Shipo 
We cry, we cry for your glory. Let it come with greater intensity. Let it come with fire. Let it come with fire. We're tired of religion. We're tired of church. We're tired of pretense. We owe our generation a debt that we must pay. To the sound of our song. Dance with me, oh, lover of my soul, to the song of all songs. Would you dance with me, oh, lover of my soul? From the desire to build ministry, we repent for giving the Spirit of God little place. We have exalted fame. We have exalted money. We have exalted education. But we want your anointing. We want your power. We want your glory. We want to give our generation something. Pray. Tell the Holy Ghost, find the habitation in my life. Find a place. Find a place. Find a place in my ministry. Find a place in my life. Find a place in my home. Yeah. Koinonia, pray. The Holy Ghost is finding entrance into our lives. Wherever you are, inside or outside. Go ahead, Spirit of the Living God, find men. Capture lovers in this place. Capture men. We call unto you. We call unto you. Answer us. We call unto you. We call unto you. Take my ambition, 
Take my heart. Take my life. Take everything. generation that cry Lord we cry to know you we cry man of God there is more pastors there is more apostles there is more Use us, oh God. Use us, oh God. We dedicate our lives. We dedicate our all. Shabaka para da balaba, shanta balaba. We lay down our pride. We lay down the walls. Hallelujah. Like you to pray and say, Lord, give me an encounter. Not just this night. Give me an encounter that will produce real faith in my life. I am tired of faking it. It's not supposed to be so hard. It's because there is no encounter. It's not supposed to be so hard to heal the sick. It's not so hard to live in hell. It's because there is no encounter. There's much prayer. But little faith that backs up the prayer. Much fasting. But little faith that backs the fasting. Much confession. But little faith that backs the confession. Hallelujah. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Use all of me, all of me. Yeah. Take all of me, all of me. Yeah. Use all of me. Use all of me. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. Please take all of me, all of me, 
Lord. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Use all of me. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. Give my everything. Will you have my everything? I dedicate my everything. Use my everything. I lay my everything. Take my everything, sing. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. Just the voices. Take all of me. All of me, Lord, you have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, as many of you who can lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, our hands are lifted because we mean business with you. And I pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray like a man who finds the lover of his soul capture as many people even in this place make mighty men and women right now in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands inside and outside right now in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus, right name of Jesus. capture men capture men take them to a realm of intimacy beyond that which they have seen I release the ministry of the Holy Ghost inside and outside. I release the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Take men to realms of visions. Take men to realms of dreams. I stir up prophetic fountains. Take men to deep realms. The spirit of man is like a deep water. Lord, I pray. Let the hidden things of the spirit let the hidden mysteries of the spirit let eyes be open let ears be open may men hear the sounds of heaven may men hear the sounds of angels may men hear the sounds i open you up to third heaven encounters many of you will begin to have visions visions of angels visions of jesus Third heaven encounters that will produce faith. Visions of heaven, visions of angels, encounters of the spirit, mantles of fire. You will become messengers of fire, messengers of power, messengers of grace, great grace.
grace, great grace, grace, great grace. secret place where I will be with you you can make me lie down wrap me in your arms 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 Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms. Would you take me to that place, Lord? To that secret place where I will be with you. You can make me lie down. Wrap me in your arms. that I seek you are my all in all seeking you as a precious jewel not to give I'll be a fool you are my all in all just the voices just the voices. Jesus, Lamb, worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Come on, call his name. This is the one who will empower the church experientially. Worthy, worthy is your I come against every sickness. I come against every infirmity. I come against demons. I come against powers. I come against thrones every spirit in this place that is not of christ i command you to leave now i command you to leave now every sickness in this place everyone who is sick the hand of god comes upon you right now i cause every infirmity i curse every pain i curse every disease and every destiny that has been tied up I release you right now I release you right now I release every destiny that has been tied up I prophesy the opening of the gates to every destiny that has been closed I prophesy the opening of the gates to every ministry every business every life every career every destiny I prophesy the opening of the gates hallelujah in the next 10 minutes i like us to pray hallelujah james please we're going to pray for nigeria and we're going to cast this devil far from our lives far from our families james 
Shila Procasira Bondo Protishima. James 5 from verse 17. James 5 from verse 17. Please, when it's time to pray, I'd like us to pray. The church is a powerful force. James 5. Can it be projected? Verse 17. Okay, let's just read it. James 5. Don't worry. Verse 17. Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that there might not be rain. And it rained not in the earth, not in his country, not in his city, in the whole earth. By a space of three years and six months. And then verse 18. And he prayed again. And the heavens gave rain. And the earth brought forth her fruit. We are going to pray. And we are going to challenge two forces that plague our nations. Number one is the force of terrorism number two is this pestilence Ebola and the rest are you ready to pray the Bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous man the fervent heartfelt hallelujah if you can hold your hands together wonderful we are going to pray lift up your voice and say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. We come against every virus, every spirit, every demon that wants to plague our families, that wants to plague Nigeria, that wants to plague Africa. We command you to get out of this continent, out of this nation, and out of our families. We command your powers broken by the blood of Jesus. Come on, lift your voice and pray. We cause Ebola virus. We cause every other virus. We cause every virus. We cause it from Liberia. We cause it from Nigeria. We cause it from the city of Lagos. Across the 36 states, we break the power of evil. We break the power of evil. We break the power. You are a spirit from the sea. We call you by name and we challenge you in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, the blood of the eternal covenant, we come with the rod of the higher priesthood and we challenge you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we challenge you. We challenge you. We challenge the shrine. We challenge the covenant that empower your operations. We challenge the enchantment that invoked you out of the sea. We challenge the powers that strengthen your operations. We challenge every spell. We challenge every voice. We challenge every incantation that permits your operation across Africa. Across Nigeria, across the states of this nation, we come with the rod of a higher priesthood. We come with the blood of Jesus. And we command you, we banish you, we banish you out of this nation. We banish you out of Africa. We banish you. 
in the name of Jesus, we punish you. Come on, pray. Pray. When the church prays, we authorize heaven to invade our territory. We are ambassadors and we are responsible ambassadors. No way to a border. We curse you from the heavens. We curse you. The Lord rebukes you. We curse you by the power of the heavens. We curse you above the powers that release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No spirit arises on its own. It is invoked by incantations. The Bible says that woman that invoked the spirit of Samuel, it was a demon that appeared like the spirit of Samuel. Spirits do not just arise and enter territories. They are invoked by spells and incantations we are going to pray one more time we challenge the powers that sponsor the release whatever prophetic code brought Ebola out of the sea we cause it back with the rod of the higher priesthood we cause those powers we cause those spells we cause this Every force of divination, every force of necromancy, stargazing, men who have connived with the heavens and the least spirit, we cause the power from the second heaven. We cause them, we cause them, we cause them from the astral realm. We cause them by the power of the Holy Ghost. The blood of Jesus, stronger, greater, stronger, greater, stronger, greater than every force, greater than every sacrifice that permitted the Hallelujah. 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 Are you ready to challenge the power of terrorism in our nation? Listen, let me tell you no human being on his own can have the audacity to terrorize a people. There are spirits. We are not interested in the human beings, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? It takes sacrifices to invoke these spirits. We are going to pray. Our weapon of victory is the blood of Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are not praying stupid prayers. We are praying prayers that produce results. The blood of Jesus paid a higher price than any enchantment that activates the operation of terrorists. And we are going to pray. We are starting from our Jerusalem. We are saying no way to Zaria. No way, no crisis, no fight, no way, and we spread it across the nation. Lift your voice and pray. We cripple the hands of terrorism. We cripple the hands of bloodshed. We cripple the hands of wickedness. We break the bands of evil. We break the bands of evil. We challenge powers. We challenge thrones. We set altars on fire. We plead the blood. We plead the blood across Zambia, our Jerusalem. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. Jerusalem. We pray for your peace. We pray for your peace. We pray for the peace of Zambia. Our borders are secure. Our gates are protected. We pray for the nation. Pray for the nation. Pray for the nation. We pray for every land where they have been bloodshed. We pray for the church of Christ in every land where they have been bloodshed. Oh God, arise! Oh God, arise! Arise like a mighty warrior! Arise!
ourselves and we are done. We are going to cause the spirit of fear. The Bible says and to deliver them who through the fear of death, not death itself the fear our families are afraid. Many people are running around. Ebola has even become more scary than terrorism. But we are going to pray. Listen, let me tell you something. Fear is to Satan what faith is to God. Every time the devil wants to strike, he releases the spirit of fear. When men fear and their hearts fail them, then evil will happen on him. Then. That's why he told Joshua, he said, be strong. When you stand before them, don't chicken out. There is a government that backs you. He said, be strong. Be strong and courageous. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the spirit of fear across our media. Right? Because that's where we get all kinds of things. We are going to pray and secure our media, our newspapers, the social network, and everywhere we are going to pray and say, Lord, we banish fear. No, no channel in this nation will be a means of carrying fear to terrorize people, lift your voice and pray. We cause fear. We cause fear. Across the airwaves, we cause fear. That spirit of fear, we banish it. We cause fear. Fear in our homes. Fear in our places of work. Fear in schools. Fear at the airport. We cause fear. The church refuses to fear. We refuse fear. We cause fear. We cause fear. We cause fear. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly, nor the noisome pestilence. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. You are going to say, As for me and my family, every virus is far from us. Listen. Take seriously this prayer point. You're going to pray and say the blood of Jesus by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I plead the blood upon myself and across the borders of my loved ones. Open your mouth and pray. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. The seal of the blood is upon me. The seal of the sacrifice that was paid. I have been bought with the blood. I will not be destroyed by sickness. 
after me in the name of Jesus I have the life of God in me therefore no sickness no virus no demonic manifestation can find expression in my body and by the ministry of intercession I cover for my loved ones I cover for my family and I declare that the blood of Jesus stands as a standard, stands as a wall against every virus, against every plague, against every pestilence. Therefore, I refuse to fear. I am strong. I am courageous. I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. The faith of the Son of God is at work in me. The seal of God's ultimate sacrifice is upon me. I, I was bought with a price. I wouldn't die cheaply. I was bought with a price. I wouldn't die cheaply. Come on, give Jesus a shout. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Hallelujah. 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 Floor. Remember, you are at a defining moment. A few weeks ago, I came with a prophetic word here that people were ending seasons and beginning another one. Can I tell you this? The grace to maximize this season you are in now, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the wisdom and the grace. Receive the wisdom and the grace. Receive the wisdom and the grace. Man of God, there may be certain levels of the anointing you should have had by now. But because of carelessness, like the hair of Samson, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, you should have get, gotten into deeper levels of the prophetic, deeper levels of revelation, deeper levels of prayer, deeper levels of fasting. But you lost these things. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Let there be restoration tonight. <laughs> Hear me, those in business, we're wrapping up. Some of you lost opportunities. God gave you opportunities. Today you would have been feeding not only your family, but everybody around you. But you are still at a level where you are begging. And time is going. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. Leave him. Leave him. Just leave the gentleman. Don't worry. Let him be. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord turn the hands of time for your sake. Hear me? Jacob had an opportunity for an encounter in Genesis 28. He wasted it through lack of discernment. He says, surely the Lord is in this place and I knew not. By the time we get to Genesis 32, Jacob was prepared. When that man came, he held on to him. He said, I made this mistake and I paid the price for over 20 years. There are mistakes when you make, even though you are restored, it will take time. I pray for you. Any mistake that will eat up your years, any mistake that will eat up the remaining part of your destiny, may my God and your God take it out of your life. Some of you, now is the time to seek the Lord. You keep laughing at people. 
Oh, these spirit cocoa people you say. Now is the time to seek the Lord. Because the time will come when you may not have the liberty to do what you are doing. I pray for you. Whatever has destroyed your spiritual fire and your zeal for the things of God. When you were on campus, people were getting born again. You laughed at them. It cost you 10 years. Now God is giving you another chance. Don't wait until 20 years from now before you take Jesus serious. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration of fire. Hear me? There are multi-millionaires today and billionaires. There were times where those people were friends to many of our loved ones. They were giving them free opportunities for mentorship. But they did not listen. And now it's costing them a lot. Some of the bankers, some of the top people today, respectfully speaking, some of them have classmates all around who would have easily taught them. But they failed to maximize seasons. May God restore those seasons for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me. I stand by the privilege of God's grace and I announce to you, if there is any season that is about to open up in your life for shame and for destruction, by the mercy of God, we reverse it now. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him thanks. Wave it as an act of worship. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for giving us wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen to me. Our time is gone. I sincerely apologize for stretching you this long. But I just had to do it. Just give me two minutes and we're done. There is no cajoling. For someone, the season for your salvation is now. There's no need pretending. You know you need Jesus. You are inside and you're outside and say, Apostle, I'm about to end the first season of my life, the first 25 years, or the second 25 years, or the third one, wherever you are. Apostle, I want to run to Jesus and make it right. Or you are saying, I once gave my heart to Jesus, but it looks like things have gone haywire. Give me the honor of leading you afresh to Jesus. Please, let's stand. We're wrapping up. Everyone inside, the overflows outside, please let them come. I'm going to count one to five. Please leave your seat and honorably come and stand before Jesus. Ready to receive that gift of salvation. One. Don't wait for anyone to be the first. Win that war. Come. Run to Jesus. Are there people coming? Celebrate them. Please celebrate them, Koinonia. I must walk the works of him while it is day. Regardless what you have done, regardless how it is, come. Stand before Jesus. He gives you a new beginning. He gives you a new beginning. Koinonia, keep clapping. Let's encourage them as they come. Please, if you're coming, double up. I'm about to pray right now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You are. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. Um, let's pray. We have a lot to do. Amen. Just lift your hands to heaven and let us bless the King of Kings. Except you help a man, O oh God, that man cannot be helped. Except you lift a man, that man cannot be lifted. So we thank you. We are not ashamed to let the world know that you are the reason behind everything that is worth celebrating in our lives. We thank you, O God of heaven. Ask the Lord to visit you tonight in this conference. Cry from the depth of your heart. Ask the Lord to give you a visitation. Let it not just be a ritual, a program.
Are you praying? Let it be from the depth of your heart. Visit us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Shalabaruza tekete baladabast, manta branda gado satali brahas kada balikatash. This is part of the meeting. Zike parush kabaruda sabranda gada lakata, shibrada gada baladada. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. Holy Spirit and be glorified in our midst in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.